All right, what's up? Adiz here, back with a quick uh, video, and this one is about how and why I went vegan, right? So people, you know, when I first tell them I'm vegan, they're like, why did you go vegan? And uh, let's just uh, tell everybody now. So I was just looking at the dates, and it's been actually over six years since I actually went and changed to a plant-based vegan diet, right? So plant-only diet. And... Um, over the years, it's been, yeah, it's been going great and feeling better, more energy, all that stuff. But when I first started, I just came across like some random video talking about like, hey, instead of killing animals, like eat something else like a banana, right? And I was just like, I was like, that that's, that's interesting. That's weird. Like if that's true, like, of course, of course, why would you kill an animal? Just eat plants instead. Like that, that it's just obvious to me. Now, most people push back on that. And then, I don't know, I never really pushed back. Um, when I started to really be open-minded person, I remember when I was working at a, um, when I was working at a, uh, retail years ago. So I went to get lunch with a friend of mine and uh, I was going to get some like hero with some like turkey or, or chicken uh, slices or something on it. And then he sent something like, he's like, Oh, do you know what those, those chickens go through? And I'm like, I don't care. Like, I'm just trying to get food. And Personally, looking back, I wish you would explain some more and so, but I wasn't open-minded at the time. Now, I guess you can say that's pushing back, right? <laughs> um, but it was just like, um, just like a quick response. Like I didn't actually take the time to like think for a few minutes about what, like, actually was going on. Like, does that make sense? Is that logical? Um, and actually, I did have a roommate that was that was vegan, and she didn't really um, explain much to me at the time, you know, and I kind of looking back, I wish, I wish she did, uh, to help like, you know, open my mind to it and stuff. But anyway, I came across this stuff and w once I, once I was thinking about, yeah, it makes perfect sense. Like why I kill animals if you don't have to, I started looking into it more. So, um, I'm a very active, um, let's see, play sports my whole life, right? Played baseball, played basketball. I still play basketball today, go running, all that stuff. Um, and, um, I would come across plant-based doctors, documentaries and stuff. There's like one called uh, Forks Over Knives. There's one called um, uh, What the Health, right? And then there's plant-based doctors, right? So there's Neil Bernard. He talks about you can reverse diabetes, right? Type 2 easily. Um, there's other, Cobble Esselstyn, I think he's the one that proved that you can reverse heart disease. Um, then there's Dr. Michael Greger, uh, Dr. Pam Popper, Dr. Milton Mills. Um, there's so many, if I think of more, I'm just going to throw names out there. <laughs> um, and then I also was coming across, uh, just YouTube channels. So I was just trying to take a ton and ton of information and to make sure like, Hey, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to, it's, it's going to be because it's actually like true. Like it actually does have benefits. Like it actually is good and healthy. Like I'm the type of person my whole life, like fit, active, healthy, right? I thought, not that I was unhealthy, but <laughs> I thought everything I was doing in terms of food was fine. Like I was just thin. I've always been thin and lean muscle. And um, I, I just felt like, hey, if you're, you know, like I don't have to worry about anything because I'm thin. And um, that's not necessarily true, but that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> um, so as I kept taking more and more information in, I felt more and more confident that this was the right way to go. And... Um, throughout that time, I think over months, I don't know, three, four, five, six months, I was just cutting back animal products, cutting back meat, cutting back chicken, cutting back eggs, cutting back milk, all that stuff. Just eating more, uh, just more fruits and vegetables, you know, all that other stuff. So my, my family is Hispanic. So we eat a lot of rice and beans and pasta and salads and stuff. So all I would, do, all I would do is just increase the other stuff, right? More rice, more beans, right? More vegetables and then less and less meat. And then one day... I was, I was almost there. I was like 90% there. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? This, I feel right. I feel like this is good. And I met some more people that were vegan. And they're like, watch this documentary. And I watched this last documentary. I think I already mentioned it. It was called um, What the Health. I was already there. And I watched that. I was like, you know what? I think it's time. And then from that day forward, done. I didn't need any more animal products. And it was interesting because right away, I saw some crazy benefits. Like within like four or five days, like I would go to the gym. And I'm like, I'm like, I, I just went... For to the gym for an hour and I'm like super super energetic I can do that whole workout like again <laughs> and that was amazing because again if I'm since I've been so into fitness and health and 
being active and playing sports. I want to do that as long. I want to do as long as possible. Um, I felt that right away. And I'm like, this is awesome. Like this, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to feel every day. I want to have energy all day, every day, literally today. Um, again, it's been six years. Um, literally to this day, I have so much energy that I literally, I never had to do this before, but I have to run every day. I don't run too much because I'm not trying to burn off too many calories, but I am trying to burn off energy. So I literally realized that I have to get a run in almost a mile every day and get some kind of workout in so I can at least feel tired by the end of the day to get some actual sleep. Like I was, I was struggling with sleep for so long. And it was just because I was just wide awake all the time. I'm like, I need to just burn off energy every day. So that's a big thing. Um, again, I went, so anyway, I went vegan. Where am I at? I'm at, uh, all right, five minutes, six minutes. I'm good. Um, so it was about being uh, just healthy in terms of like food, right? And energy and um, and if it's right for your body. And then also I was learning from all these plant-based doctors that you can live on average six or seven years longer. Um, not only just longer, but you're having more healthy years. So yeah, yeah. You, so you, <laughs> you might live, uh, what's it called? Six or seven years longer, right? So you might be like 75 or 85 or 95, whatever. But all those years before that, you're also healthier than you would have been. So there's like, you're not having as many health conditions and drugs and um, medications, all that stuff. You're, you're fully functional in society with tons of energy um, cognitively there, um, you know, your body just fully functioning great and being able to do stuff active, you know, going for jogs and walks and everything. Um, so that's huge. And you lower your chances of major diseases. You lower your chances of heart disease and diabetes and high blood pressure, right? And, uh, right. It's hypertension, right? You, uh, certain types of cancers, you decrease all that stuff. And I'm just like, Hey, like I want to be fit, active for as long as possible. I want to, I don't want to have, um, it's not like the disease, like a typical person. I mean, um, it, it, you're not like superhuman there on a plant-based diet, right? But you do decrease all those things, you know, the, the possibility of getting all that stuff. So that all sounds amazing. And, um, yeah. So after taking this, taking all this information, I was like, I was like, let's go for it. And so far it's been absolutely amazing. Um, so I always mention on this channel that the definition of veganism is it's not about um, environment or health and stuff. That's actually like a, um, not a coincidence, but it's an indirect um, whatever consequence of, of eating a plant-based diet, right? So the primary thing is the animals. So to summarize, I switched to a plant-based vegan diet because of the benefits, health benefits. And, but in terms of being quote unquote vegan and staying on this diet, it's that it's about the animals, right? So it's about not contributing to the suffering and, and death and exploitation, exploitation to animals as much as reasonably possible. And that is, um, that's huge. Cause after a while, like once you stop eating animal products, like you no longer see animal products as food anymore. You realize that like it's an animal there that wanted to live, that goes through pain, that has feelings, uh, has friends and, and family and, and wants to live their own life and they're happy and they can be sad. Uh, they're an individual with an individual personality. Um, a lot of animals like uh, cows, pigs, chickens, and you know, just like a dog, like they respond to their name, like they interact with each other, they'll interact with humans and They'll remember, they recognize things. Um, they're intelligent, all that stuff. Pigs are more, pigs are smarter than than uh, dogs. Um, so all that stuff is uh, all super interesting, super cool. Um, but yes, I uh, I switched over and and I will add that all because you're not eating animal products doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be super super like perfectly healthy. It's about eating a lot more whole foods, right? So if you follow these, some of these doctors, Michael Greger is a great one. If I think any, I think of any more. Um, oh, I will say there are some really cool YouTube channels out there. Um, Mike the Vegan and uh, Happy Healthy Vegan. And um, let's see, there's the nutritionfacts.org. That's a cool site. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. 
Um, let's see. And the documentaries I mentioned. Oh, there's a great documentary for fitness people and all that stuff where it's about plant-based diets. Not necessarily a vegan diet because that's about animals, but it's called, um, let's see, The Game Changers. Yes, watch that. If you're into fitness and all that stuff, like you're going to get um, improved, um, in, increased endurance, faster recovery, and more energy. So that's all obvious, clear, right off the bat benefits on a plant-based diet. So again, uh, with the health thing, it's not just about not eating animal products because you can be vegan and drinking, you know, soda all day and eating french fries. Like that's not healthy. It's about eating as many whole foods. Ideally, you want to eat all like whole food, plant-based diet, right? Um, but the more you are in that direction, the better. So a lot of rice and beans and get enough calories, a lot of fruits and vegetables, variety, you know, kale, and mushrooms and onions and berries and nuts and seeds, huge. Um, avocados, healthy fat, amazing. Um, you don't worry about fruit, you know, like fruits healthy, eat the whole thing. Uh, you know, bananas and uh, what else? Dates are really good, all that stuff. So again, a lot of oh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, amazing. So if you're eating pasta, whole wheat pasta, bread, do the whole wheat bread stuff. And, you know, then you can mix in some, um, let's see, some, like, milk, right? Some, let's see, soy milk and plant-based milks, right? There's, there's uh, rice milk and coconut milk, all that stuff. So, like, that's the easiest, sorry, mix, also mix <laughs> some um, substitutes, right? Occasionally, every now and then. So, the substitutes are not, not, like, straight-up health food, but they are not as bad as animal products straight-up. So, like, if you compare, like, a regular burger from cows... And um, to a Beyond Burger or some other type of plant-based burger, like that's actually less saturated fat, right? Less, and there's no cholesterol, all that stuff. So, a lot of benefits there. And uh, let's let's finish up this uh, finish up this video. Yes, been six years. I think I switched over in July. Um, what are the years? Two two thousand July two thousand seventeen. So. And uh, going great. I'll make some more videos. Uh, did blood work. Everything's going great. Um, and I take B12, vitamin D. And that's really it. So just got to get a lot of <laughs> a lot of variety, calories, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, right? And, uh, and then you're good. So anyway, hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Uh, subscribe. Share with somebody. And um, thank you. All right. Peace.